Welcome back to Importo Cup channel where stock is always boring. My name is KBH. Today guys, I have a 2024 BMW M3 competition touring. I'll show you guys all the mods that I did to this car. Let's check it out. feature cars that I fully modify, meaning to say I've put a lot of parts on the car, but this one, we our, our approach is the simpler, the better. We start off with this Vorsteiner carbon fiber front lip. It's a super simple um, carbon fiber lip design from Vorsteiner. As you can see the logo, look at the vents here. So nice. I've installed an MV Forge 20 inch wheel at the front and a 21 inch at the back. MV Forge, meaning to say it's Forge wheels made in USA. I'm their exclusive distributor. Um, super simple color and design as well. So, this is a gloss gun metal lip with, paired with a satin gun metal centers. Super simple. Everything. Uh, on this car is simple. Uh, we want it very discreet because this, this is a sleeper sports car. So as you can see, uh, three-piece design caps. Look at that. I like it. Twill carbon to match the Vorsteiner carbon fiber front lip. M stock brakes measuring 380 mm and I believe it's 340 at the back. Six caliper piston, one caliper piston at the back. This is not sporting uh, ceramic brakes. I really like how the rear wheels looks on this car. It's measuring 295, 25, 21 inch. Uh, sporting Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Yeah, wider at the back. I really like it how it's super concave. You, re you can notice it. Um, if you notice as well, we're running on stock suspension for now. We're gonna lower the car. Uh, we have several brands, H&R, MSS, BMW Performance Springs. So yeah, there's a pretty big wheel gap at the front, which I don't like. This is okay, because the M3 Touring is lowered already as compared to a BMW M4 and M3. So yeah, I like it as well that the Touring version looks like it's wide-bodied so wide at the back this is actually my fave what you're looking at is my favorite angle of the car look at that and it's longer compared to the other versions and variant yeah, it looks so nice you can actually change this to carbon fiber this to carbon fiber that to an aftermarket uh, side skirt carbon fiber as well but we didn't want to uh, it's just very simple approach and simple mods. This is stock. Everything is stock, but you can buy a carbon fiber uh, spoiler. We've installed a Vorsteiner carbon fiber rear diffuser. Super simple design, but sleek. I like it. Then, as you can see, the Akrapovich titanium exhaust. It's not circular, but yeah, angled just to match this. I like it. Forgot to mention, we've installed an inventory intake for this car. See? Matte finish. Super nice. I like the whole system. And it comes with the turbo inlets as well. I'll let you guys hear the induction noise that I've been hearing while driving this car. Induction noise from Eventuri intake. Sounds so good. So yeah, pretty much this is the three liter uh, straight six twin turbo from BMW. Yeah, this is a 
family car and a supercar killer because this car has a 3 liter state 6 engine twin turbo producing 510 horsepower and 650 torque can you believe 650 torque <laughs> Very steep uh, incline. around 3,000 up so yeah nothing's happening uh, we can tune this car to produce more power back and more powerful um, at the higher rpm rate so yeah as mentioned you can hear the even to re uh, intake it's all in carbon fiber the turbo inlet comes with it as well so it's changed in the Akrapovich exhaust. We used Akrapovich at this car because it's, uh, it's more tame. It produces a deep sound. I'm doing a wide body. Maybe you cannot sit here. I'm doing a wide body M4 this generation. I just ordered it yesterday. Yeah, it's going to be the sickest M3, M4. Uh, G80, G82 series car in the Philippines when we're done. Right.